when I see a homeless person on the side of the street and they've got some type of disability that hurt their legs, they're in a wheelchair, I like to imagine that, yeah, probably a war vet, but also could just be an ex-crossfitter, someone who went way too hard, tried to do the personal best one too many times uh, and hurt themselves. <laughs> I did CrossFit for a little while when I was living in Colombia and I liked it to a certain degree. You know, there is kind of like this fun social atmosphere where you're like, yeah, fuck it. Maybe I'm not in the mood today, but now I'm here and everyone else is getting into it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. And you do kind of, at least for a month or so, I was kind of into it. But what I what I found is that essentially the group thing kind of takes over pretty quickly and you're like, yeah, this is the class for today. And you start to kind of disregard how you're actually feeling and just the commitment to self abuse was pretty unparalleled because <laughs> the true believers, they get into it. And then I think that, um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's essentially, and it wasn't really a male or female thing. Everyone was kind of like just trying to prove themselves and do the workout of the day thing to the best of their ability, which is kind of noble. But I don't know. I think of like even elite sports teams in the modern era, you don't train as if there's nothing wrong with you or if you're all the same. Like if someone's carrying a knock, you don't you don't try and do the same workout or training schedule as the person with nothing wrong with them who's perfectly fit. Yeah, like and these are the people who are kind of like world class athletes, highest performers. They're not doing the same shit. But in CrossFit, that that's the way it kind of worked. So eventually I was like, no, this is retarded. <laughs> I like I like the um in theory, if if I'm feeling completely healthy, I would uh I would like, to, I'm happy to attempt the workout, but I'm not going to, if I got a sore knee, should I push through? Probably not. So I kind of do. I think if someone is like a uh, an ex-crossfitter, I, I, I do treat them kind of like, as like, you, you fucking, you gave your legs so I didn't have to. Thank you for your service. You know, it's, it's actually, it's quite noble. <laughs> The the caveat there would be um, that they're actually ex-crossfitters. If someone's an actual crossfitter, like now, I, I wouldn't say a fucking thing. That's that's like spitting in the face of a religious zealot. You don't know if you're going to get fucking pipe bombed that evening. No way. I'll keep my mouth shut. If you're a crossfitter listening to this, I think you're a wonderful person and uh, you should keep pursuing your path of fitness and enlightenment but yeah x crossfit is fucking hell man you you did a good job gave your legs My, mine is still work yours don't but i'll try and help you out here or there i guess the the caveat would be if they're an x crossfitter but now they're like into f45 that's that's a fucking psycho you've got right <laughs> that is like a um that's just, that's not some poor kid who got like, had no other options. And so joined the military and they ended up in Iraq doing some crazy shit and then stepped on a landmine. Uh, someone who's like gone from CrossFit to F45, that's like a fucking Blackwater mercenary. They love the pain. And uh, yeah, you're just never going to be able to relate to them on a normal human level. So steer clear of them, ex CrossFitters. Or hobbling around. If you see me on the street, hit me up. Give you some cash. Faux show. Sure.